Hello everyone, welcome to a video where we talk about the wonderful world of COV heavy weapons. We're going to take a look at every single part that can spawn on a COV heavy weapon in the game. Now I really wanted to get in character for this video, and decided the best way to do that in a safe and friendly way without threatening to pull out anyone's insides would be to just spell everything wrong in the script. But I feel like I'm reading a 5 year old's poorly written script, so I'm gonna stop putting text on the screen now because it hurts my brain to read and write this. Like I said, we're going to be looking at every part that can spawn on a non-unique COV heavy weapon, and we'll get right into it with the body of the gun. The body of all COV heavy weapons will be the same, no matter the rarity, and this is what it looks like. It also has three unique accessories that it can spawn with. The first one will increase your damage by 10%. Here's another view where you can see these spikes, that's your damage accessory. The second accessory will decrease the heat generated by each shot by 25%. And the third body accessory shown here will do the exact same thing as the second. That's it for the body and its accessories, and now we'll move on to the barrels that COV heavy weapons can spawn with. There are three different ones, and each can spawn with its own set of unique accessories. The three barrels are the Chukka, the Shredda, and the Zuka. And we'll start off with the Chukka, because alphabet. The Chukka does not shoot a projectile, but instead ejects a constant stream of elemental acid. This acid will deal ticks of damage over time, with each tick equal to your base damage, to any enemies that are hit by it. When I was testing the Chukka, it was hard to get an exact number on the ticks per second, but it's somewhere between 10 and 13, and the number of ticks is not affected by your fire rate. I increased my fire rate by 20% and was still seeing the same amount of ticks per second. So this is just a heads up in case you try to use this gun with a build with high fire rate. Here's the Chukka Barrel, which can spawn with three unique accessories. The first accessory is going to increase your damage by 10%. The second accessory will also increase your damage by 10%. And the third one is going to decrease your heat per shot by 25%. The next barrel will be the Shredda Barrel. The Shredda will shoot a saw blade with dynamite strapped to it in an arc pattern. The saw blade will bounce off of surfaces and will travel until it hits something or until a certain amount of time passes. The damage from a Shredder will be twice what is shown on the gun card, and it has a pretty fast fire rate so it can put out some solid DPS. Here's what the Shredder barrel looks like. This barrel is going to provide you with a splash damage radius of 130. As far as the accessories go, the first will provide a 15% accuracy bonus. The second one will give you an additional projectile per shot. And the third one will decrease your recoil height by 25% and increase your fire rate by 10%. The third and final barrel will be the Zuka barrel. The Zuka is not as fancy as the Chukka or the Shredda. It's more like your typical rocket launcher. It shoots a projectile that will explode on impact with anything and then spray shrapnel everywhere. And it fires in an arc pattern similar to a Shredda, but doesn't have as steep of a drop off nor the same fire rate, firing much more slowly. This is the Zuka barrel, which will give you a splash damage radius of 300. For the accessories, we have the first one here, which will be a melee attachment that will increase your damage by 10% and increase your melee damage by 80%. The second accessory is going to increase your splash damage radius by 20%. And the third one will also increase your splash damage radius by 20%. That'll do it for all the barrels, and we're going to move on to the grips. The first grip is going to provide a 10% accuracy bonus and increase your fire rate by 5%. The second one will increase your damage by 5%. And the third one will increase your splash damage radius by 20% and decrease your heat per shot by 15%. Next we have an engine part, which is unique to COV heavy weapons. The first one is going to increase your damage by 5%. The second one will increase your fire rate by 5%. And the third one will decrease your heat per shot by 15%. Also unique to COV weapons is the starter part. Along with some stat modifiers, these will also change your animation whenever you swap to a COV weapon or after you repair your weapon, and can give you a unique animation for the weapon repair. The first starter here is going to increase your damage by 10%. Here's the starter animation, and here's the repair animation. The second one will increase your fire rate by 10%. This is the starter animation and the repair animation. And the third one is going to decrease your heat per shot by 25%. Starter animation, and repair animation. We're going to move on to the stocks next, and there are six of these. The first one is going to provide an accuracy bonus of 20%. The second one will increase your elemental damage and elemental chance by 
Now this is only going to matter if you have an elemental heavy weapon, and it will only affect your dot because elemental damage in the part context means your dot, not your gun's damage. The third stock here is going to increase your fire rate by 5%. The fourth stock will greatly increase the heat generated per shot for your weapon. What isn't listed here is that this will double your projectile count. And because the barrels are so different, the effects of this will vary. For the Chukka, it won't change the damage on the gun card, but each tick of damage will deal double the base damage. For the Zuka, it will simply double your projectiles. The same goes for the Shredda, but if you have the Shredda accessory that gives you an additional projectile per shot, it will give your Shredda 4 projectiles. Then we have the 5th stock, which will decrease your recoil height by 15% and increase your damage by 5%. And the last stock will increase your splash damage radius by 20% and decrease your heat per shot by 15%. Next, we'll take a look at the three scopes. The first one will increase your zoom by one and a half times. Then the second one will increase your zoom by 2.2 times. And the third one will increase your zoom by 3.3 times. Finally, we come to the elements. COV heavy weapons can spawn in all five elements. These being fire, shock, corrosive, cryo, and radiation. Even if you get a gun with no element, the gun can still have an elemental part. However, the chukka will always have an element. So in case you guys want to try and memorize this stuff, here's a table to help you out. This and information for other weapons can be found in the spreadsheet linked below in the description. That'll do it for COV Heavies, guys. See ya.